Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome to the very start of a brand new Terraria adventure. So in this brand new series, I'm taking a little look at the Lunatic mod. Now you may have heard about this because around two years ago, I tried to make a series on this mod, but I was a very different YouTuber back then. Commitment levels were pretty much at a zero, so it's been my goal to go back and check out this mod and finally see how it ends because it frustrates me to no end that I don't know how the lunatic mod ends because it's apparently one of the best parts and uh and it's it's bothered me ever since so the lunatic mod well what is it well it's essentially vanilla terraria it's pretty much vanilla ter vanilla terraria <laughs> I love I love the base game. I'm actually getting super nostalgic just to play normal Terraria because I've been playing modded Terraria for so long now I can't really remember all that much about the base game anymore It's kind of like when you play a game with like a million DLC packs Eventually you kind of forgot what the game even was before all the DLC came out it's kind of like that kind of not so with the lunatic mod what it does is it adds in this timer that if runs out it will cause an apocalypse, which is kind of scary, right? So from the very moment you start your world, there is a timer in place. If you want that timer to increase, all you need to do is take down a boss. So what you have to do with the lunatic mod is you have to rush through Terraria as quickly as possible to stop your world having the apocalypse. I've never seen the apocalypse in any form. Nobody's ever ruined it for me, which is amazing. And, uh, and if it happens, well, then it's all over. So you need to defeat bosses as quickly as possible to win. Now, I'm going to make it harder, right? So when I first did this, I did it in normal mode. And yeah, it was a little bit easy, right? Expert mode this time. Expert mode. This is just going to add to the stress. I'm pretty excited about it. Like, it's a great way to start 2019. So, if you've never heard of me before, welcome. That sums me up pretty good. My name is James. You can call me Chippy. Uh, I'm a 21-year-old 20 21 guy from England. That always surprises people because I sound so old. And my avatar is an old man. It's the cloth year. I, I, was, I was 14 when I changed that to be the cloth year. Not an old man. But uh, if you are returning, welcome back to Chippy's Couch in 2019. It's going to be a good year. This might be the last Terraria series before we have a brand new update. It's been such a long time since we've had a Terraria update. But playing through the start of the game, it just makes me want it so bad. Like knowing that there's wind in the next update and knowing that it just looks a lot better. You look at this and you're like, this is amazing. Like I personally love Terraria's art style. But I'm like, it could be better. Because I've seen screenshots of it being better. So it does make me nostalgic. Usually in a series like this, I would do lots of jump cuts. But in this series, I'm going to try and keep the jump cuts to a bit of a minimum. Uh, I know you guys don't have each and every day to uh, to spare, you know, a, an hour's worth of gameplay. So I will do jump cuts, especially if I die. Um, but the goal is with the series to show you everything because it's kind of like a speed run. Uh, I believe you start off with a good couple of days, but that's only going to get worse because the gap between some bosses is quite high. Okay, slimes, can you please stop? Like, I, this, this is why I don't play expert mode. I'm very happy for this pinky right here, but for real, can we just can we quit it out, slimes? I don't really need this. Slimes, oh my god. Welcome to 2019. This is a good year. It is, it is going to be a good year. I had the worst intro to 2019 though I've ever had. Uh, so I was ill, as normal. You guys know I get ill all the time. But uh, I was probably like more ill than I've been in a very long time. Like I had this, uh, I basically had flu, right? So that's like cold but you spew up. That's pretty much, that's how I define flu. I'm not a doctor. I think that's clear. But uh, I always like to think of colds as being like sniffles and coughs almost. Flu is like basically that. You change heat and you throw up occasionally, right? That's the flu. So I had the flu. And my New Year's was like, it was just dreadful. I bought tickets to go to a nightclub. I couldn't go to the nightclub because I was so ill. And then, <laughs> get this, I just had to spend the night in, like, struggling to breathe. Because no, no, nowhere was open to give me medicine because it was New Year's. It, it, it was tragic. It was absolutely tragic. But I did get to watch the fireworks. Because they play fireworks on uh, on BBC One in Britain, and it's basically like the fireworks at the uh, at the Big Ben in London, right? Not Big Ben, uh, the London Eye. And I'd never watched them before, but it was pretty good. 
There is a funny story with that, right? So my sister once went to London uh, to go see the notorious fireworks because it happens every year. And uh, this is like my typical sister, right? She bought the tickets. It's expensive to go during New Year's. You have to buy a hotel. You have to buy all your trains and all that, blah, blah, blah. And she got there and she waited for the, for the fireworks to start. And it was like, okay, so it's 10 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. And she just thought, you know what? It's a bit cold, isn't it? It's a bit cold. So she just went back to her hotel and <laughs> didn't bother. Like, that is that is brilliant. I, I can kind of understand it. Being cold, not so great. New Year's in England, very, very, very cold. Um, which is why I like to spend mine indoors. <laughs> okay. So now we've got one house. There's a reason why I'm doing this. I've got to be really methodical about this. Uh, I need two houses and they need to be the right size uh, but anyway these houses are going to allow me to get a guide which is obviously something i've already got i mean mine's probably going to die by the end of this right um, because it's taken a lot of my uh, my trauma but i need two houses because one needs to be for the lunatic now the lunatic should move in pretty quickly but you've just got to be careful because the lunatic will despawn um if you get him killed and you don't want him to be killed because if he's slain then you can't submit uh, the stuff that you need to submit, which is essentially like the uh, the masks. So let me finish this up real quick, and uh, and I'll be right back. Well, hey, we have two beautiful houses. Welcome to to here's my house. What's a house tour show called on MTV? Uh, what's it called? My cribs. Welcome to my crib. Why is that show called? It was so, uh, anyway. Welcome to my crib. As you can see, we've got. The standard wooden architecture, very nice. We also have standard wooden chair and table. Ooh, if you're feeling luxurious, it's all it's all here. Okay, what do we got in our world then? Let's let's explore a little. So the goal really is with this first episode to just gather some resources and i think the ones that are going to help me out the most because this is expert mode is going to be ore and gems i need a hook i need some armor and that's pretty much it right so our uh alzared alzared am i getting that name wrong probably alzared al alhazard uh uh, so our lunatic has arrived. So the cool thing about the lunatic is that it will tell you how many days you've got left So we can actually check it out in a second um, But like I mentioned you start off with a decent amount But it only gets worse because it's like you add to that timer But that time is going to decrease pretty quickly So you can't spend time just like faffing around if you're gonna beat a boss you got to pretty much do it first try Stuff like that. It gets pretty difficult. It does get difficult, which is why you can't play with any other mods because it does. It needs to know that you're not cheating. Although there is one other mod that was meant to add at the very start of this series. And we are going to check it out in a minute or later today. Maybe I will. Maybe it'll be at the beginning of tomorrow, but it's a great mod. It was made by a fan. Um, and you, you guys, if you've seen my channel before, you'll know that there's one thing I'm quite legendary for. One of my most amazing stories. And it's been turned into a mod. I don't want to ruin it because you'll see it eventually. Okay, got a herb bag. I got a boomerang. Great. This is perfect. My god, this is World Gen 101. Give me this any day. Wow, free chests. I will take that. I love this. It's kind of ended bad, though, because of the fact that uh, it's been blocked off by a bit of sand. But if I was to destroy that sand, did I get any bombs? I got grenades. But if I had got bombs, this would have been the perfect world. There's a... There's a water chest there. Is it right there? Am I seeing that correctly? I'm gonna have to dig because I can't I can't see. I'm a little bit blind. <laughs> Just a smidge blind. I tell you what, if I if I whoa, jump up here and do this, this is gonna be great. Oh man. This is good. I love the start of Terraria. The start of Terraria is my favorite time when I'm playing. I get I get weirdly nostalgic for the start of Terraria. I just love it so much. It's the adventure. It's like you don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so that's perfect. I've got a magic mirror. I've got some lead bars, some night owl potions. This is all really good stuff. Thank you, World Gem. Appreciate you. <laughs> I do love this, though. The only thing I could do with is a uh, is a set of climbing claws. Right, let's shoot down. Oh, and a life crystal. Can we get a hallelujah? Thank God. Did you do your hallelujahs? I hope you did. Because it deserves it. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. So, how have I been spending my 2019? Well, let's talk about resolutions real quick. I do have a resolution. I've not told anybody it, right? So, you guys may know this. 
but I have a bit of a, an obsession with Red Bull, right? Like, I love the drink. I shouldn't love the drink, and I hope me saying this isn't, like, encouraging you to go and buy one. But, uh, I, I just, I don't know. I just love the drink, and I feel like, over time, I may have become a little bit addicted, right? Because it's got a lot of addicting qualities to it. Uh, it's a fizzy drink for one, so you kind of, like, associate it with drinking. Um, and it's got, like, so much sugar and, and just naff in it. And so my, my kind of New Year's resolution is to just not drink it. Now, I've not told anybody this in case I fail, and then I feel a little bit bad, right? But that's pretty much... Well, we're on the 7th, so we've done one week of it. I'm pretty proud of myself, because usually I, like, I do... Because it's so convenient. You just pop into a shop, you'll just grab a Red Bull. I'll just grab a Red Bull. There is alternatives. There is Monster. And I will miss Monster, because Monster's a pretty unique taste. So is Red Bull, but it's got to go. I drink coffee, but only occasionally, and I only ever, I drink it with such little sugar and no milk, so it's quite surprising now that I've got this weird obsession with, uh, with this Red Bull drink, right? Now, I know that this means that I'll never be Ninja, I'll never have that brand deal, that's okay, I, I think I can live with that. Red Bull actually follow me on Twitter, that's of their own accord, I didn't ask. They must know I'm a, a. They must know I've, I've purchased maybe thousands of pounds worth of Red Bull over the years, right? They're gonna have to unfollow me. Can't be dealing with them. I just can't. They're a, they're a natural trigger. <laughs> but that's my New Year's resolution. Do you want to know what my New Year's resolution was last year? I, I, if, do you guys remember? If you watched my series last year, you'll know. Because I told everybody last year. My New Year's resolution was to go and to the gym and, uh, and get healthy, right? I can successfully say, we're here in 2019. I did it. So I basically ran at the gym every day for months. And that was great. And, uh, and I went on lots of walks, and I just stayed healthy. Like, I ate better throughout the whole year. I'm actually really proud. Like, if I look at pictures of me at this Christmas compared to last Christmas, I look like I've lost weight in a really healthy way. And I feel good. I actually feel good. So I'm, I'm pretty good at sticking to New Year's resolutions. This is not... See, I have these little things, right? This is so irrelevant to Terraria. <laughs> Let's talk about Terraria real quick. I'm grabbing some gems. That's what I'm doing. I'm grabbing gems and I'm exploring. Um, but yeah, I'm actually pretty good when it comes to like kicking bad habits and stuff. I have this thing called Lent, right? Lent is like a, uh, it's, it's this Christian thing, I believe, um, where essentially you give up something you, you most enjoy. Uh, it's That's not how it started. It's just kind of what it became between, um, I can't remember what it is. Is it, is it, oh, I can't remember what it is. I can't remember when you started. Oh, from Shrove Tuesday, so Pancake Day in Britain. Pancake Day to Easter Sunday, you just give up anything you want. And I always give up Red Bull. So, I don't know why I keep going back onto the stuff. Like I say, addicting. Nice. Our gold is still here. So let's, uh, let's dig through here for a little quick second. So I want to see if there's anything more down here. This is a really forgiving world. Like, this world is really, really good. Like, can we just say, my god. It's, it's, it's amazing. Okay. So, Terraria 1.3.6. It's a coming. I think it's going to come eventually. Uh, maybe, like, I want to say, like, first half of this year, it's probably going to come, uh, which is going to be amazing. But it's going to be it's going to be that interesting period again, isn't it? Where, like, you get the update, and you're super happy because you're like, amazing, I've got a new Terraria update. But I think it's going to be one of these really awkward times where mods don't work for a very long time. Because of uh, some of the new features they've added in, like sitting down on chairs and such, that's going to be real difficult for modders to kind of adapt to. So I'm wondering how long it's going to be before we start getting our mods back. Which is probably why I should cram in as much modded as I can before we uh, we get the update. Oh, so that I can experience everything. I'll tell you what, the temptation for Calamity Season 5 is real though. Since they've added that new leveling system, I just want to, want to play through it again just to see if I can... Oh, I don't ever get these. Let me quickly block that up. Block it up. What's that? It's, it's, it's Salamander. So these are world specific. You don't always get them. Um, this is a Crimson World. And out of my nine series that I've done on Chippy's Couch, I have never played a Crimson World. Because I don't like Crimson Worlds. I also don't like spiders. So that's not great. But yeah, I've done quite a lot of series now here. So I did Calamity Season 1. I'm just counting them on my hand. Thorium. And then I did Calamity Season 2. Spirit. I think that's right. So that's four. Uh, I also did Bard Forium at five, Mega Mod Pack. That's six, and then I did Season Five. Oh, I've done six. Have I? There might be more than that. I've done four series of Calamity, so that's already one. All right, let's work it out later. Four series of Calamity, one on Spirit, two on Forium. 
So that's that's seven. <laughs> so oh, really, <laughs> really? Why'd you glitch like that? <laughs> Before we continue, I can't be dealing with this setup. This annoying wooden bow is its the end of me. Right, let's make a... Oh, I can't. I just need to get away. <laughs> I, need to, I need to not be, like, surrounded by enemies. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Let's get out of here. Okay, right. Build over, like so. Gives me a good platform to work on. So I want to get a workbench. I can already build an anvil, I believe. So with those remaining bars, I might be able to make a lead bow. Is that right? That's a no-go. So I need to make a furnace. This is already getting technical. I tell you what, I would love a Terraria mod that kind of adds like more technical stuff to it. Like um, industrial craft in Minecraft. You know, back in the day, I'd love something like that. Okay. Why? Why did you do that? What a misclick! Oh no! Alright, well 29 lead bars is fine. Let's get some gold. Uh, let's get... Hmm, what else should we get? Tin. That's what I need. Tin. Alright, two bits of tin. Oh, I can't believe that! <laughs> what a waste! Alright, lead bow. Bang in. So we currently do free range damage. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's get my lead bow out, because that's nine. Uh, and then what we can do is maybe grab an empty bucket for any lava endeavors that we might need. And I think that might be it. A reinforced fishing pole. Could do. I haven't done fishing in a little while. I feel like fishing might be the end of me though. Uh, but actually, with a reaver shark, that could be real good. So the possibility is endless because you need to speed run, right? So if you could get a reaver shark, go down to hell, quickly mine hellstone... You've skipped a good portion of the game, and then you can, like, kind of steamroll through some of the uh, other bosses. If you guys remember, I tried to do that in Calamity, and it really backfired on me, but could work here. All right, let's, uh, let's head down here. There is so much to do, though. I want to go, I want to go and check this area out. There's so much here. So much possibility to this world. It's like, please pick a path. Any path. I'm going to have to come back and grab some of this, uh, or I hope you guys know. <laughs> Alright, I was going to say, that has to be the end of it. Oh, I've got to grab this. I've got to grab this. Right, let me quickly grab all this. Right, let's see what we've got. So, fingers crossed, I want a chest that has a cloud in a bottle. Or, lots and lots of heart crystals. This is not what I expected. I'm going super slow, just in case. Okay, another magic mirror. Uh, I will take all of this and leave that. Let's progress onwards. Only problem is, is we can get absolutely bombarded in here by like a, um, a tomb crawler. I don't want that. Okay, I'm going to get out of here before I get bombarded and die again. Because it's getting a little bit embarrassing. I'm going to go down here. See, if I already had the clown in the bottle, I could just proper like dive down here. No worries. Okay, Dark Master. See you later. Oh, I just love the frill. What's it going to be? We're going to be super speedy about this. I'm being a little bit slow. <laughs> I'm taking my time. I guess I'm taking my time because I'm like, I could do with some decent stuff before I begin. Because it is expert mode, and uh, and I'm not too great at expert mode, as many of you know. I've not got any... Um, Let's get rid of... What? All right. There you go. Here's an old trick. Nice. Ooh, let's grab some breath. So I'm happy for any kind of hook right now. So I will grab Topaz, you know, and no, no problem with it. Hmm, okay. There's more Topaz here. And I think this is some as well. Or is that copper? All right, that's copper. If I had some, uh, some glow sticks, I could really tell what was at the bottom of here. But for now, I can't. Or if I had some ice burn arrows. Man, I should have grabbed some, uh, some ice arrows before I even came down. Okay, right. Got a lot of blocks here. Let's use some dirt. Just get me out of here. Thank you very much. Let's get rid of the dart trap. I'm never going to use it. Okay, what's this going to be? Normal worm or tomb crawler? It's a normal worm. Okay, out of here we go. Okay, come at me, worm. Come on. Come on, bud. Wee! <laughs> Giant worm. All right, I want that whoopee cushion. That's what I want. That's my, that's my wish list. Be a New Year's miracle. Come on. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, that would have been so good. <laughs> that would have been so good. Okay, uh, down here maybe? We've still got... Alright, I'm going to go check out that area over there. Because we've got so much to explore. And up and... There we go. Sick moves. Okay, down here we go. Oh, yeah, this is where I want to be checking out. Below the uh, the spitter biome. Oh, it's not bad. Are these diamonds? I think they're diamonds. I'm getting lucky for diamonds today. I was kind of messing around in Terraria, really. Just trying to get the feel of the game again. And I got diamonds as well. Oh, I thought that was going to roll. I thought that boulder, by the way, was going to roll up the hill. <laughs> the physics on that, I don't know if they would have worked. But <laughs> I was like, this is it. This is my big boulder death. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, please. Hey, this little, I didn't know this little walkway down here existed, but this is great. Now I got a little bit of leeway. Thank you very much, game. Thank you very much. All right, let's grab these, uh, let's grab the, keep grabbing these gems. So seven, how many we got? 11, 7-Eleven. Isn't that a store in America? I've been to America and I don't know if I saw a 7-Eleven or is that like some kind of drink? Man, I remember, right? So I'm an English lad and I remember when Mountain Dew came to uh, came to England. And I was fascinated because all you would hear YouTubers talk about back in the day was Mountain Dew. It's a bit of a meme, right? A bit of a meme drink. Do you drink it if you're not part of the meme? I don't know. But I remember when it first came to Britain, I was like, this is this is real interesting. And I was like, we're finally American, guys. That was it. Britain's got this big obsession with American culture. Like, we have so many American shops that are just about, like, American sweets. And they last, like, I don't know, a, about half a year. And then they go out of business every time because nobody wants to spend five pound on a little tub of Lucky Charms. I'm sorry, America. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay. Oh, shout out, by the way. I haven't spoken about this. So when I went to New York, if you guys remember, I spoke about liking Hershey's a lot. And there was, I really like the, uh, the, like, the nut flavored Hershey's. So like almond, the, uh, the gold one or whatever. And, uh, and there was a, uh, an awesome person called Ket's Kiln. They um they got Pedguin <laughs> to give me some Hershey's because Pedguin was in America. I was really cool. Like I was like kind of mind blown by it. I was like, it was really sick. So in terms of uh of checking stuff out, I'm gonna end it there, guys, for uh for exploring. But now we need to speak to our lunatic and find out exactly how much time we've wasted already. Find any interesting masks you'd be willing to let go. Not like it's important or anything. Ahaha, <laughs> good one. But seriously, you do have a mask, don't you? Please? Where to find a mask? Question mark. Keep an eye out for a big red eye. No, really. Okay, we've got eight days. Eight days. It's not many. We've got eight days. We can do it. Uh, so that's it for episode one, guys. If you enjoyed, please, please, please leave a like rating. It goes such a long way. If you're watching this in another tab, come back onto the tab. Like it, please. And, uh, and if you're new around here, click that subscribe button. What are you doing? You don't want to be missing out. Right, see you all tomorrow, guys. I hope you had a, a great time watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!